I will take a question from you here and a question here to the left. You have the floor. I was one of your students in the and uh, I have also uh, been with you for one year in France. I am uh, an economic uh, advisor in uh, Senegal. Uh, first, I would like uh, to welcome Morocco to the ECOWAS. And uh, I appreciate very much what was uh, said uh, before. Uh, this is a sort of systemic uh, change as a general manager of the AFD. This is something that we will have actually sort of historical turning point that we will have before and after the adherence of Morocco. With regards to the international cooperation, we have not talked about the uh, transfer of technology. I have read uh, an excellent book about uh, Japan and uh, Southeast uh, Japan, The Grow and Rising Sun. Africa, can you be very brief to give the opportunity to others? That is the transfer of technology we did not uh, tackle. And then we have not talked about vocational training. And third, we have not talked about the outsourcing of activities. And we need to have uh, another alliance. Uh, for the accelerated growth of Africa. You have the microphone, you have the floor. Thank you for this very uh, important, pertinent pa panel. You have talked about uh, the structural readjustment, uh, uh, and uh, you have talked about uh, the uh, sovereign uh, debt. The African countries uh, somehow have resumed this uh, massive debt dynamism with China and with the different uh, um, obligations markets. And we will have uh, actually to reimburse uh, some debts in the coming years, and this will create uh, some debt crisis. What is your view uh, towards the situation, and how can we solve that? Let us have three other questions, and then we will give one minute for each and every speaker, Mr. Mrs. Dissouche, Mr. Ahmed, and then I have to end here. Uh, thank you, Christine Dissouche from the uh, Paris University and from the University of uh, Benin. And I am one of the privileged observers from Benin of uh, all what you have mentioned today. I have one question. Jean-Michel said that China is uh, the big the shadow of this debate, uh, but we have not heard something that is related to democracy and human rights. Are these uh, concepts and values that are considered as bygones? Uh, the uh, rule of law, is it just a, a matter of uh, regulation? Is investment compatible with human rights? Mr. Ahmed, and you here also. commend the organizers for having two sessions on Africa, one on investment, one on development, and for putting the one on investment first, because I think that's very important. Mm -hmm. Secondly, I wanted to ask you, Africa is big, but it is 50 plus countries. Some are big, but many are small. How much do you see the need for regional cooperation to make your investment strategy competitive? Super, donc uh, coopération régionale. Monsieur, et puis malheureusement, nous clôturons, désolé. Yeah. Oda Aberdeen, the Capital Trust Group, my question is to Dr. Traub. It seems Morocco has the most experience, the most knowledge, the most investment in Africa among the Arab countries. Have you talked to the Sovereign Wealth Fund in the Gulf about working to, with them to invest in Africa? Alors, les fonds souverains. Écoutez donc, je vous propose donc à chacun... So I propose that each of the panelists take one minute to answer the questions. We are already late as it is. Okay, Mustafa first. Yes, very quickly. I think you, te technology was mentioned. Uh, one thing that is key is te technology is global. There is a market, but innovation is local. Mm. Uh, and success, uh, you know, hinges on local innovation, facilitating local innovation. Also in business models and financing mechanisms. This is key. You know, you mentioned scaling up and the challenge of scaling up success stories. That will require willingness to innovate also in terms of the instruments, financial instruments that, that are brought to bear on the African challenge. And that's not easy. You know, how, how can you get big bureaucracies 
including large companies that are bureaucracies, to innovate in terms of thinking on how to address. But the challenge is, I mean, the scaling up potential is there. This, there is a saving gluts, gluts in the north. There is a lot of money chasing investments. Uh, they should recognize by innovating and considering that there are different ways to de-risk these investments, for example, big corporations' investments as de-risking mechanism, then we can achieve a lot. And that also addresses the regional cooperation. Regional cooperation is absolutely key if you want to have a chance to scale up. A lot of our partners are regional. You cannot avoid the, that. Monsieur Rio, vraiment très 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 bref. Just for technology, vocational training, we have a very beautiful experience here in Morocco on the automobile, the automotive industry, aeronautics industry, which we can share with others in terms of results and outcomes, which are very good. The debt, I've said a few words about the debt, 30% of the uh, GDP, the credit is 30% uh, of the African GDP, it's 80% and it's in Europe and 60% in China, so there's a real topic of re -indebtedness. China takes uh, all, of course, its uh, due uh, importance in uh, its part now of the Club de Paris, uh, which was something which is unimaginable in the past. China, through the China Development Bank, is in our IFDC club, and we're trying to work with China in Africa on uh, major communes, and of course the regional integration, and it, this is very important for us. It's at the uh, level of our agency, we're uh, revisiting our local organization so that we can take into it uh, regional uh, plans. Uh, so, so we will be working on uh, territorial oceans and uh, coastal areas. Uh, let me say one thing. The uh, uh, Japan needs a lot of cooperation with uh, other donors, like uh, the AGZ and then uh, Morocco uh, and also uh, Turkey. Uh, that's very necessary. And then, uh, like uh, we are also cooperating in Southeast Asia with France. And also, in terms of the uh, cooperation here, uh, the number of Japanese people living in Africa is all, all together. 8,000, only 8,000. And while Chinese are 1 million, so there's no comparison. But this has one merit. Uh, we bring the, uh, we do not bring many workers here. We just employ the local people. By this, we can engage in a technology transfer. And then finally, the democracy. You know, democracy is based on the understanding that people may make mistakes. And then people have a right to criticize and to change the leaders. This is important, and we are very much committed to this. Merci beaucoup. Et donc, uh, Madame Chacon. So, Mrs. Chacon, Mr. Bayer, you now can respond very, very quickly as organizer, as I tell us to conclude. Very quickly, you have talked about uh, mistakes, uh, that uh, renewed mistakes. So, there's a, this is a learning process uh, which is uh, not compressible, uh, it takes uh, the time it needs to take. Innovation, as Mr. Torab has said, it plays a very fundamental role. Uh, digitalization of all our processes, whether the public or private sector. I would like to talk here about the, the, the final word, I think, is the funding. Uh, funding is a key word. Uh, it's very important. We do have uh, problems uh, try to, uh, trying to build capacities in order to support uh, uh, and conduct projects. This is, the speaker has switched to French now, English now. So. And this, I mean, you, you, you ask uh, what would be? What can we address to uh, to the to the uh, GIZ, G, GIZ uh, ou bien uh, IFD? Uh, voilà. One of the question, one of the uh, one of the and the questions is how to accompany better, how to finance better in building capacities uh, for private sector building capacities project. Merci, Madame Chacro. Monsieur Bayer, le mot de la fin. Okay. Oh, the word, conclusion word. The one is vocational training. I think a huge part of our engagement is vocational training. And we had been very successful. But through vocational training alone, you will not create jobs. This is a problem. I mean, we have also to do something on the demand side, not only on the supply side. And on the demand side, we need investments. And this is a problem at the moment. 
Uh, second point, China. Yes, of course, we know China is not um, uh, giving the loans on conditions. This is unconditioned loan, uh, lending. But still, I totally agree, we have to cooperate with the Chinese because they are so important in Africa and they are ready to cooperate. So we also start cooperation, triangle cooperation with the Chinese in order to exchange experiences, how to make these huge investments in infrastructure more um, development oriented so that they, they will have their, their, their impacts, their, their best impacts. I think we have to do so. Um, and the last point is regional, um, uh, uh, regional integration, regional, regional cooperation, regional market is key, as you said, for us as well. We are investing a lot in creating regional markets. And this includes, by the way, also free movement of people, according to me. So the South-South migration is one of, not only trade, but migration, South-South migration is one of the important factors also to foster um, economic development. I mean, we inside of Europe, we believe very much on free movement of people because it is important for economic development. Um, so we, we should also put some efforts in increasing South-South migration, make it easier for people to move and to get better perspectives for their life.